and obviously B, uh, BBC license as well. Now that is a big, that is another matter. John Sweeney is not an option, unfortunately, as we have been proven. I don't watch anything on the BBC. All my shows are all on ITV, what I want to watch, so. I don't really watch anything on the BBC. That's true, I don't either. Apart from EastEnders. <laughs> I would not say that loud loud if I was you. <laughs> Apart from EastEnders, that's all. Otherwise, I don't watch any of it. I don't like the news, I prefer ITV news for that. I am a sports fan, me, so all mine is also on the sports channel. What rugby team you sport? What, as country or...? Country, yeah. That's a bit obvious. Isn't it? No, it's very obvious, you know. Oh, Wales, wait. of course. Yeah, same as for Wales. Well done, young man. I like people that support the Wales. And it's weird when it comes to cricket, I oh, actually support England for the cricket because Wales ain't got, got a cricket. <laughs> exactly so, that. <laughs> so, Matt, yeah, all yeah. honest now. So, uh, for example, do you think, yeah, the council, because obviously they're probably in there now, you know, just sitting around, you know, just chilling, you know, because it's nice to eh? So, do you think each year invited us in to obviously chat with them, you know, just talk with them and obviously offer us a cup of tea and that? Do you reckon? I think they should do, actually. It's like my uh, MP, Justin Tomlinson. He does a coffee morning. And anyone can go up in, and join in there. Do you? I don't go up there uh, personally. Because it's not my s sort of thing that I would want to go and see to. Because what that man has done to Swindon, he's not originally from Swindon, would you believe it or not? Because I know a bit of history about him. He was born in Blackburn. Blackburn, sorry. And Blackburn is a poor part. Isn't it? It's all in the Manchester area. If you come from a poor family, you should be supporting yeah, no, for the yeah. working class, yeah. not for the rich. Yeah. Yeah, but then he's probably got his wealth for being MP and obviously substitutes as well, and else whatever else they get, you know, benefits from obviously being a MP. And I wouldn't be surprised if any of these wankers that we vote in. <laughs> Excuse my French there. It's not daytime it's okay. friendly. I'm sorry, viewers. There. <laughs> it's okay. But what it, it does annoy me, no, and it annoys Remember, everyone else. What they speech. do is freedom of speech, isn't it? They sit on their backside. Do I show you your card? That Amy card, please. Yes, actually, do you know what? I'm more than happy. So it says about freedom of speech. Here we are. Even read it out if you have to. <laughs> but it even said on there, swearing included. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, so, so obviously, how are we going to move forward from this? So obviously they're just sat in there, obviously not listening to us. I say we need a bigger crowd to come yeah. out and join us. Get your voices heard. If we're brave enough, you should be. Yeah. Grow a pair of balls and what have you. <laughs> and Get your backsides out and help us. And obviously it's peaceful as well. We only it's a want... peaceful protest like anything we do. Yeah, we only want peaceful. We, uh, it's promote... the same with the Swindon Yellow Bus. We need you to come out on that and all. <laughs> if you voted leave, brilliant. Come out and have your say. And obviously come and join us in Gloucester and plus the Swindon people as well, it'd be great. Obviously more of them the better really. But obviously we have to do it on a, uh, say a weekday such as Wednesday when it's best obviously us Wednesday's three. here yeah. for, for the Greens I, yeah. bit and then weekend on the Saturday is when the Swindon lot go out and do their Yellow Vest demo. Okay then, so obviously I spoke to Matt about that. So obviously council chamber, six o'clock to eight o'clock is members Q and A on proposed football stadium planning applications, which I heard is obviously going to be on Greenfield site. What's your view, sir? And obviously, what's um, your opinion to Dale Vance or Dale, Dale Vince, who owns it, well, wants to build on it? And obviously, a council alike, their chamber. Well, whatever football team it's going to be, I do not care because it's not going to be Manchester United. That is my team anyway. But. Ooh. What are they trying to do? Are they just trying to bring in more economically for the people to get involved? And they is being attacked. Yeah, I'm being. Yeah, the flies are here. Oh no, they're attacking us. The flies spray out. Got to pick some up. I didn't realise there were flies that go in around. So for a new football stadium, I think it's for hideous. They're all on your air breathing as well. And then, do you see them? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, look, look. There's nothing we can do to get rid of them. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you can see all these flies everywhere. 
yeah, which is obviously sad to see. But everywhere. But yeah, we've not still not been invited to go in it's for a, a nice sign of a chat. decaying society. Yeah, look. Look. Look at all of them. And obviously, for example, don't you don't you believe yet? Yeah, because obviously, there's flies out here, which obviously we know they carry diseases and elsewhere. Don't you think obviously they should offer us to go in? Obviously, we can hold one off our signs each, and then hold the rest, you know, keep them out of the way. And then obviously, they could go in for a meeting, you know, nice hot chocolate or whatever, coffee, tea. That was longer than mm. ten minutes. Oh, we're doing. We're on our lock. Uh, there we go. We got somebody from the council now coming yeah. out. I was thinking ten minutes. That's a long ten minutes. Ten minutes. Was it anyway. ten minutes? It was an hour. It was an hour, but... <laughs> yeah, we made out a bit of bullshit there, so you know we were going to come out for a... days here for 10 minutes, but we turned up and we were out here for an, an hour. hour. Anyway, <laughs> oh, no. anyway, we've got the right to, because it's uh, owned by the public, owned by the taxpayers. Exactly. Yeah, so basically... Why don't we not move in, then, if we paid for it? <laughs> yeah, why don't... That's a good point, actually. Okay, then, so obviously we've seen a councillor just come out here, yeah, trying to say, obviously, move on. Yeah, kind of thing, yeah? Mm, yeah so what's, your, works, what's yeah. your view on this? Because obviously you got to think we're not doing anything, we're peaceful and obviously we're promoting peace and obviously um, they're trying to come to get rid of us, would you agree? I think they are trying to get rid of us. <laughs> oh, it's all a bit, uh, don't worry, it's only a bloody helicopter. Why do you think they're trying to get rid of us? They want us off, because I think... <laughs> <laughs> Because they are two cowards to come out and try to come and speak to us. Yeah. And they obviously don't want to make it look bad because then it's looking bad for them because we're out here, obviously, with all these flies, and yet we've not been offered to go in or chat to them. And they keep... I tell you what, if there was loads of us, I think we would bombard that place. <laughs> <laughs> with loads of people just out here holding all these nice banners and everything. Yeah. Getting what we want. Is yeah. making this place greener, everywhere else greener, saving our countryside. Get on with it. Let's get the bikes out. Cycle to work. Cycle to school. Yeah. Cycle to everywhere. Let's cycle everywhere. And obviously, yeah, but then the council could also build, like, cycle points. So such as they've got a few buildings here, like, I don't know, owned by the council. So maybe they could put some, like, I don't know, rent a bike or something. Say a pound a day. Maybe, yeah? Because then that's also generating money and then they can... It is relieve. like over in London. You yeah, can actually oh, yeah. go over yeah, there. Ones. You can hire one out over there on the point. Yeah, electronic one, you know? Yep, yeah. yeah. and it goes straight to your phone. I think it's a brilliant idea. I did it over in London myself. Yeah. I paid two quid to go and use it. Oxford has even they got it. Yeah. And they're lying on my thing as well. Hang <laughs> on. Um. Ah. They've got Easter holidays coming up. Okay. And then when the summer holidays start coming up, what's the kids going to be doing for six weeks? They're going to be bored. Okay then, for example, I'm on the Youth Council for Stroud, yeah? Right. So, obviously, it's like working to, well, with Stroud Council in partnership, and obviously, um, we do events and obviously kind of get our voice heard, but obviously they could do way more in listening to us. So, for example... We go to meet them, what, every, every other Tuesday. So then every other Tuesday, they could ask for what we want to improve. And obviously, I spoke about this before, about, obviously, Greenbow, and everyone, well, most of them agree with me. Well, they, yeah, all of them agree with me that, obviously, we need to protect it. And obviously, for example, the more you build, the more the litter's going to be there, yeah? And obviously, pollution. It's just going to be a complete mess of society, if you like, yeah? Because more pollution, then people become depressed because there's nowhere to get away from. And then, for example, London, well, not London, but say, for example, United Kingdom is the most overbuilt country there is. Compared to, say, Australia and big countries who obviously got bigger populations than what we have. And they're, say, about the same size as us, I'd say. And they've got, like, deserts, forests. It's massive. Okay, then, so let's continue. So, obviously... We said about the council trying to move us on. So why do you think the main cause... Well, the main reason is... They don't want to speak to us. That's the main thing. And if they don't want to speak to us, we'll carry on being out here. <laughs> yeah, longer. Do you think they should offer us for a coffee and a hot chocolate or a cup of tea or something? Warm drink? I wouldn't mind a cup of tea for the match. What about you, Matt? Would you like a drink? And a chocolate digestive biscuit to go with it or custard oh, cream. Yeah. <laughs> or, no, 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 them uh, lotus, is it? You know, Lotus? I don't know. Biscuits. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 
They should just offer us to go and speak to him. Money. Oh yeah, yeah. Give back our taxes and yeah. <laughs> like they're gonna do that, because you you know where Polly is gonna go. Where is it gonna go? Not in our pockets or say the people's pocket or the constituency. Where's the money gonna go? It has to go somewhere, don't it? So well, we'll give it back in our pockets. No, you know, no, we're not getting value out of our That's true. taxes. But where do you reckon the money is going? Oh, where uh, we're paying. Yeah, like you know, when we pay to the council, where do you reckon that money is going? So we're it's not going si- nowhere. It's just sat in the pot. No, but not sitting in the pot. But where's it going? Nobody like, knows. To the pe- to the people who works in there, maybe, or like councillors or something. Do you reckon they're getting something? Maybe. What do you reckon? They must be getting a p- an annual pay or something. Now, nah, obviously, they get paid, <laughs> but do you reckon they get a bit more than, obviously, what they say? Yeah, I reckon they are. Do you reckon they're getting, like, I don't know, what they call it, back pockets or something? I don't do know, but, people... what, you know, there, there are too many, there are only too, too many politicians, too many councillors, you know. So, they're not doing a good job, so you must yeah. reduce the number of them. Yeah, yeah, we need, yeah, indeed. So, obviously, what is it? Like, for Hardwick, I think there's a couple councillors we have. I think for like Hardwick area, maybe. Yeah, they don't well, need that many. Yeah, we don't yeah. need to. Well, to be fair, we don't even need one for like Hardwick, really, because he never consults us or even listens to us. And when I've emailed him, well, obviously the clerk did as well, he never replied back. So I'm thinking, what's the point? Yeah, we've got. Like, they know, never what's, the point having, to what's the point in having both a district council yeah, and, and uh, the county council? There's what's no the point? point. For example, look at this. You can see this, obviously, wildlife. Look, pigeons. Can you see? They're trapped under the. Uh, what is it like? Um, scaffolding, but yet obviously there's nowhere from go because obviously we're destroying their habitat and the, where they live and obviously their nest and that. Because obviously, for example, you may have heard in the news about <laughs> about the. Um, <laughs> Well, I'm getting bombarded here <laughs> by these bloody flies here. About the council, uh, not councils, the developers. Yeah, chucking um netting all over the trees, bushes mm. and everything. What, what's your views on that? Oh yeah, I saw something online um, in, uh, I think it was in the Chooksbury area. And, um, you know, if that's a tactic that's going to be used by council, then it's pretty disgusting because it's directly Indeed. impacting the environment, uh, environment you know, nature. Um, and uh, that just shows they don't care really, but of course, 